I am pleased to announce the CDC has recently confirmed that as of Monday, March 14th, we improved to a travel health notice of level three from a level four. This is welcomed news and aligns with our We Are Open campaign theme as we continue to transition to normalcy. We have also coordinated for our next phase of normalcy that as of tomorrow, March 17, all restrictions regarding business opening hours will be removed and businesses can now open as per the time indicated on their respective licenses. The focus remains to be economic activity. However, we should not become complacent and continue taking the necessary precautions as usual. As of to date, the Council of Ministers and my person as a direct contact to the airport has yet to receive any communication, any emails, any letters as it relates to the shareholder meeting that took place on Monday, March 14. I find it to be extremely disappointing, especially in this particular critical juncture that we are in, and more so a national interest as an airport that communication is not where it should be. Based on that, we have decided to call an urgent, extraordinary shareholders meeting with PJIH to discuss the ongoing developments as it relates in particular the situation with Mr. Hyman. Again, I find it to be extremely, extremely disappointed, in particular with, a, with an individual who have been part of that institution and part of its success almost going on three decades. Again, as I said before, it's clear to a great extent that institutions, government institutions in particular, as we discussed with the airport, has a carte blanche to do as it please, and we need to address these concerns. 